So hey, Lawn Care Nation, this video we're gonna talk about whether or not you should have your prices listed on your marketing materials. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you click that notification bell so that you're notified right away when I make videos like this that have the potential to make your business grow. So hey, Lawn Care Nation, recently uh, somebody uh, sent me a DM on Instagram asking, would you advise putting a general price for mowing on door hangers? And the short and simple answer would be yes. I think uh, having your price on your marketing materials is a great way to attract potential customers. But there are some things that you wanna make sure you do if you are gonna put your price on your marketing materials. So think of it this way, uh, we all get a ton of ads and flyers and things that come to our doors on a daily basis. And think about your you know, um, neighborhood grocery store or your neighborhood um, you know, super center like a Walmart or something like that. Uh, if they were to send flyers out with just pictures and descriptions of products with no prices on them, uh, would it make you uh, want to get up out of your chair and go and get that product right away? Uh, or uh, you know, incentivize you to phone that company uh, for you know lawn mowing or something like that if there wasn't a price. Um, I don't think so. There's a reason why uh, sales and pricing is used to attract uh, potential customers. Now I will say if you are going to go and put your uh, pricing on your marketing materials that you make sure you have some sort of fine print or terms listed or wording uh, to stipulate that uh, you know your pricing is a starting point uh, for that particular service. That way, if you have something like lawn mowing $30, uh, people aren't gonna be confused that uh, you know that applies to every size property. Instead, set it up as lawn mowing starting at $30. Or um, you, know, you could have that lawn mowing $30, but then in fine print have something like based on 1,000 square feet. Uh, so that way, people know that that is a starting point, that that is not uh, the set price for everybody that calls and that um, you know it's just uh, a way to get people uh, to inquire and get more information. So I'll show you guys an example. Here's a postcard uh, that I designed uh, for my own business 11 years ago when I left the franchise company and decided to uh, build my own brand and go out on my own. Uh, so you can see it has my company name, contact information, <clears throat> and then on the back, I've got uh, my services listed. It says call for a free estimate here on the side. But at the top, it says regular weekly lawn mowing starting at just $30 a cut. But there's that caveat there. It's starting at $30 a cut. So even 11 years later, I've still got a bunch of these uh, boxes of postcards like this uh, that I printed initially. And uh, even though 11 years later, uh, a lot of the houses that uh, I initially would mow for that $30 are now $50 cuts. Uh, I can still use this marketing material because it says it's starting at just $30 a cut. Now, luckily in my own area, uh, the real estate climate uh, and such has changed uh, with value skyrocketing that uh, a lot of new developments in my area are uh, popping up with very, very tiny houses now uh, on lots that used to you know, house one house, they might have three or four houses now. Uh, so with those uh, tiny homes, I actually call them shoebox homes, uh, this pricing works perfectly. So in my um, area, I'm able to refer to those houses if people ask me well why is your price say you know thirty dollars a cut if you're quoting me 50 i can refer to those neighborhoods uh so i have the the benefit of that but even if you don't have the benefit of that, there's always cases uh, where you know maybe somebody just wants you to mow a city boulevard in front of their house or a particular little area. So you know you don't really need to justify the price, but having a good you know your minimum uh, price that you have set uh, to go out uh, and do a job is a great way uh, to attract new customers. As long as again, like I said, you have it starting at that price or you know based on a particular amount of square feet 
for that price. And uh, I find uh, that you'll um, you know have no pushback uh, from clients um, when you have it properly worded like that. So what do you guys think about having uh, your prices listed on your marketing material for your lawn care business? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. Here's to wishing you guys all overwhelming success and freedom in your lawn care business. Bye for now.